Hello and welcome to a new video about programming Arduinos. This time we want to use our PER sensor or movement sensor to, well, we read it in. This is really an easy task. You will see this is ah, sensor, cable, three cables. Uh, we have to use plus and minus. I will use plus again the red one and minus again the brown one and in the middle there is the signal eh? so here are the three connectors there is minus is there plus is there plus signal minus all right plus signal minus and we are going to connect this here. Signal, I will use digital input number 2. And plus and minus are going here to ground and 5 volts. And actually, that's it. Okay, <laughs> that's it. Plug it in. Bim bidi bim. All right. Now we could start programming. And this will do. So I really do not want to spend a lot of effort just to make a LED lit. So I don't want to plug in a LED. I will use simply the LED building. All right. So the only thing. Okay, I have to save it under the name. It's 32, 32, I call it a PER. Okay, so the only thing I have to do is to define the input, yeah, a PER in, this was number two, and then in setup, I will use pin mode. Yeah. I will use the PER in yeah, as an input, should be sufficient. And LED build in. As an output, I will simply turn off and on and then we will make digital write LED and low. Huh? So we will turn off the, the built-in LED and in the loop we are just reacting on what we have read from the input. So you know it's uh, I will digital read and peer in. That's it. <laughs> Upload. Maybe I don't know the no typo. <laughs> this would be it. There is no problem. So let's see. The LED building is not turned off. If uh -huh. you see. And we have this problem again, that it, after it turned off, it takes a while until it is ready again. See, now it worked. Okay. I'm waiting now a little time uh, to, to see if it's still working. And it worked again. Okay. But if I'm immediately doing this after it, it, it is it needs to get ready again yeah, to recognize a new movement this is a little bit annoying this is typical for these PER sensors yeah? maybe that our program even makes sense maybe you can find a solution for this so that this is not this is somehow covered 
Yeah? The behavior we cannot get rid of it, yeah? but we can cover it yeah? so that you can wave and immediately after it turned off, you can wave again and it will immediately react. Yeah? Let's see if you can manage to, to solve this with software. It's possible, right? Good. PER sensor. Actually, this was the last video in this series. We will make other stuff with the Arduino, where we will do the real-time clock, yeah, we will do uh, the, the RFID stuff and so on. However, for this base course of Arduino, I think that's it. We have covered pretty much. Yeah, We have covered digital input, digital outputs, analog outputs, analog inputs. We have covered some uh, drives, yeah? DC motor, step motor, servo motor. We have covered some input devices, yeah? decoder, potentiometer, uh, this, this PR sensor, level sensor, measurement of distance with ultrasonic, temperature measurement. Yeah? So there is already something. Yeah? So you should be able to, to start your own projects yeah, again, it just use your imagination, all right? So, from my side, for the Arduino base course, that's it. That's it. Finito. <laughs> yeah. If you are interested in, you can watch the other Arduino things and also... I will make a link there, simply. Yeah? If you're interested in, click on it and hopefully enjoy. For this time, thank you very much for listening, and goodbye!